You can do this only in India. <laughs> so like I said, Rishu is a big shot. I see my brother in there right there. I want to go say hello to them. Namaste. Oh my gosh, this place is hectic. It's super loud. Uh, I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> this is crazy. But the weather is beautiful, although it rained a little bit today. But it's actually kind of nice. So let me show you. I've got my dad, I've got my sister, and then we have a bunch of stuff. Uh, there it is. That's my sister, my dad, and then of course, uh, those that on the flatbed is our stuff. We have a bunch of stuff. This is pandemonium. <laughs> Isn't that what they call organized chaos? Maybe that's what it is. I have no idea. But this is fun for me. I'm loving this. So these are all our stuff right here. It. Is it pretty hectic for you? Oh, well, it's not a problem. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. So it's okay. <laughs> My dad goes, he's used to it. I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm kind of used to it too. You know, but this is so much fun because I haven't seen this in such a long, long time. So I'm loving this. I'm so full of energy. So look at this, guys. This, this is our stuff right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is all our stuff right there. We have quite a bit. See, I mean, that's how people travel in India. Okay, look at our stuff and then look at that. <laughs> Ours is nothing compared to that right there. That's a lot right there. Anybody who missed this uh, experience, please uh, hit a like. <laughs> hit a like, please let us know. Yes, let us know what do you remember of uh, of your Indian train experience. Guys, look, look at this. <laughs> This is the smallest chai you'll ever have. Right there. It is pouring down, guys. It is pouring down. Well, guys, we still have plenty of time to kill. So I decided to take a walk. And let me show you what a, a train station in New Delhi, India looks like. There's so many people. As you can see, it's super loud too. Just take a look. Everybody's waiting for their trains to come. Well, you can, you can feel that India is the most populous nation in the world once you get to an Indian train station. Look at that, guys. There's people everywhere. But it is also so much fun to be in this sort of uh, environment. The chaos, you know, the loudness, everything. People from all walks of life. Does any of you who have done this in the past but have not done this in the longest time miss this? I absolutely do. I love this. This this is super fun guys. This is absolutely incredible. Look at this guys. You know, I walked around uh, wondering if there's any other Tibetan 
uh, going to Bodh Gaya because Bodh Gaya is a very popular Tibetan destination from New Delhi. But I didn't see anybody, so there must be none, or maybe they know something that we don't, or maybe they're coming late, or maybe they're already blended in with the Indian folks. Wow. I love this so much. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. I, I think I can travel on days uh, on a train. Especially in India. You know, they give you very good food on the train. Food that you're used to, food that you grew up eating. You know, and then also, the best thing about Indian trains is the chai. Seriously, I cannot get enough of Indian chai. All right, let's 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 continue exploring. What else we can find on an Indian train station? Look at the other side. I've not been showing you the other side. Look at this, guys. Just look at how many tracks. That's that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's tons of tracks. You know, obviously, Indian railway station is one of the biggest in the world, if not the biggest. Or I could be wrong. What do I know? Oh, I do see a couple Tibetans right here. I'm pretty sure these are Tibetan people. Let me go say hello to them. This is the, these, these things guys, I mean we, the, the porter charged us 2,500 rupees, right? Yes. Uh, to bring our stuff from the taxi cab, uh, from the cab stop to platform number 15, I believe that's what it is. Yeah, so about $30 to get us over here. So he left his uh, flat back here with all our stuff. So when the train gets here, whenever it does, he's going to put everything in the train. And that's included in the $30. That's included in the 2,500 rupees. Let's walk down a little bit. Let's see if there's anything else going on on this end of the train station. Well, I don't think there's a lot going down here. Guys, looks like our train is finally here. Yep, I see it. There it is. You guys can see this or not, but that's our train. Yep. We're supposed to depart at 9.30, but it's coming at 9.30, so obviously we are a little late. But... I believe better late than never. And here's my sister trying to feed some stray dogs. Yeah, they're loving the pearly tea. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to this train journey. Seriously. So excited about this journey, guys. You know, if you guys are new to my channel, have you have not subscribed, please do so. I would highly appreciate that. And those who are already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. Yes, here's the train, guys. The reason why the train got delayed today, I think, they said was because of fog. Apparently, there is a lot of fog in certain areas that so the train got delayed. So that's the reason why we were late. And these guys are our porter right here. He's right there. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
मनीष कुमार योगी बहुत अच्छा है हमारे लिए मनीष कुमार ये सब किया मनीष कुमार योगी सब कहाँ से है सर राजस्थान से राजस्थान से और अच्छा वहाँ तो बहुत फेमस है जयपुर So here it is, guys. Here is the train. Oh, I love that. I love this. This is therapeutic, guys. You won't believe this, but I find this very therapeutic. The train horn blaring. You know the overhead announcement. It is so beautiful to experience. I never get tired of visiting India, guys. Seriously. Hands down, one of the most beautiful countries, in my opinion, okay? And I might be a little biased, of course. You know, I'm in, I love India. So yeah, this has to be the most beautiful country for me. People are nice, the culture is nice, food is incredible, and best of all, the train journey. See? This is what I'm talking about. This is beautiful. I can't get over it. This is crazy. <laughs> Guys, we are finally leaving. Just, just, just look at this. I, I hope this is it. I hope the train is not pulling a prank on us. <laughs> it is actually moving. Yes. So it yes, is. and the time right now is 10:07 p.m. And yeah, we're actually on our way off to Gaya. Wow! 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 Yep. So this is this is what our train looks like from the inside. So there's four bed, one on the top, one on the bottom, and then another one on the top right here, and another one on the bottom right here, and then there's actually two on the other side right there, one on the top and one on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind, the train stopped again. Oh, don't get too excited. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's see, I'm looking forward to this journey. Ready to sleep. So this is two tier second AC. So there's four. No, there's six in a cabin. So there's one. So two, two tier. There's one tier and there's another tier. So voila, two, two tier. Yeah. Yep. is amazing the chicken curry is oh my gosh it's the bomb mixed vegetables really good can't complain at all how 
What do you think, Paula? Is it pretty good? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. <clears throat> How's the chicken curry? It looks pretty good. I love it. Wow. What do you think? Very good? What's your favorite? Very good. What's your favorite, sis? Of course, chicken. Yeah. It tastes yummy. So good. All right. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, guys, here is my plate. So now I'm going to get to work and finish this before it gets cold. Well, after dinner, they brought uh, some vanilla ice cream for dessert. So that's what we are having. Mine's right here. And Pala and sister is busy with theirs. All right, guys. It is now 11.20 uh, and yeah. I'm gonna go to bed. Good morning guys. 6.18 a.m. Okay, my sister just woke up and that's what our uh, bed looks like. There's my sister right there. That's her little corner. Most of the people are still sleeping, so I don't want to be too loud. Uh, but I'll catch you guys later uh, when it brightens up a little bit. This is where my sister slept last night, and that's where my dad slept last night. Yep. And this is where I slept. Still kind of early, I think. What time is it? It is 6.45 a.m. Most of the people are still sleeping. Man, it is going pretty fast right now. The train is going pretty fast. in here too. Well, it looks like guys, we're gonna reach uh, Gaia at around 10 a.m. I think. Yeah, a little after 10. Which is not too bad. The train picked up speed last night. I woke up in the middle of the night and then I could feel it, it was going so fast. So guys, from here it's only two hours uh, to our destination. So the gentleman just told us that this used to be Mughal Sarai, but now the new name is Pandit Din Dayal. Yeah, Mughal Sarai so, is the old name. So yeah, it's a pretty big junction as you can see. Yeah, look at this. Pandit Din Dayal. New name. New name. New name, yeah. What name is Mughal Sarai? I'm gonna jump out. Oh my gosh, look at this. Guys, look at this. I can't. Look at this. How beautiful is that, guys? You can do this only in India. <laughs> you can't do this anywhere else. Say hello. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I love this. Oh, fresh fruit. Namaste. 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 Look at this, all the friendly people, guys. Incredible, a lot of friendly people. This is Pandit Dindaya, what used to be Mughal Sarai. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't get over it that I'm actually hanging, uh, you know, pretty much hanging right here from the door. And this is not illegal, I'm sure. Otherwise, somebody would have said something to me. Yeah, look at all these things. Look at it, guys. 
Oh, there are some Pandijis. Oh, oh, look at these giant Gawas. Super fresh, even fresh. Should I get off while the train is still moving? Because I see a lot of Indian people do it. I sh it shouldn't be too cool. This is beautiful. Hello! Oh, there's another train going over there. That's a pretty colorful train. Get that time. See, he got off. He got off just like that. All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. See, it's gonna stop. The, the train's gonna stop here for ten minutes. See if I... So now from here guys our destination is only two hours which is not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Take care sir. Take care. Okay. One and a half hour to go our destination it has been a wonderful ride so far and hopefully the last hour and a half will be the same how'd you sleep tonight Jim how'd you sleep last night how did I sleep last night I slept really well That's good. Um, yeah because I was really tired so I didn't feel the pain why were you anything? tired we didn't do anything to get tired it's all depending on how my pubis night was, right? Since I didn't sleep well because we had to come pick you up at the airport. Okay. And that's why, because we had no sleep whatsoever. His flight was delayed, yada, 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 all night. Okay, all right. But that's why. But I slept really well last night. That's and good. so we are about to reach our destination. That's good. Let's see. It says we would arrive at 10.30 local time. This is moving pretty fast, but it's not as, you know, I mean, this is probably not the fastest train in India, though. The one that came, the new one, do you remember? Yeah, the one to Banaras. The one they borrowed. That's supposed to be the fastest train in India. But even that, I don't think, is as fast as the ones in Japan and China. Bullet train. Yeah. I remember taking one from, from Shanghai to Ibu. That was super fast. And you guys took one from what? From from Shanghai to Beijing. Right? Yeah, we took one from Shanghai one. to Beijing and then there was Yes. Those are real, real uh, fast. Yeah, they call it a bullet train, so but it was nice. We had fun. Guys, I just found out that when we reach our destination, Bodh Gaya, this train actually stops there for only two minutes. <laughs> Maximum three minutes. Maximum three minutes, that's what my sister said. So that means we are going to have to rush, 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 because we do have a lot of stuff. But thankfully, we are sitting right next to the, um, the exit, so that will help us a lot. Look at this, we have just reached a small town. Could be a big city, who knows, I don't know. I just said a small town. Next stop is Gaya, our destination. Oh, after this it's Gaya? Okay, yep. let's see what's the name of this town or city. Okay, it's called Kudra. 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 So yeah, it'll be pretty tricky uh, trying to get all the stuff out within two minutes. I don't think it'll be an issue, but you never but know. Before we arrive at the station, what we have to do, maybe like get say 10 or 20 door. minutes before, before the arrival, we need to gather all our luggage. I'll leave it right by the door. And yeah. 
We'll leave it by the door, and when the train does arrive at our destination, then we pull them out. So how long did it take? We, I mean, the train left at what time last night? It was 10 like 10 something, 10 or 7. Yeah, 10 and it looks like we're going to reach at around 10.30, 11 o'clock. No, not no, 24, 12. 12. So oh, that's yeah, too yeah, bad. Yeah, I thought, for 10. some reason, it felt longer than that. Yeah. All right, guys, I have a surprise for all of you, okay? So we're almost in Gaia. And then I was talking to a gentleman right here, a very friendly gentleman. And then out of the blue, he asked me, are you going to Gaia to see the Dalai Lama? You know, I was oh my gosh, yeah, he knows about the Dalai Lama. And then I found out that he has actually met His Holiness the Dalai Lama just a few days ago. You know, so I'll let you meet him. Here he is. What's your name? Rishu. Dr. Rishu, yeah, Dr. Rishu. So Rishu is a big shot. So, you know, he has met His Holiness the Dalai Lama and he actually showed me a bunch of pictures. Can you show, show me a couple of those pictures? Sure. <clears throat> Yeah, that happened just a few days ago while His Holiness was visiting Bodh Gaya. You know, so I was like pleasantly surprised to see a bunch of pictures. Look at that, guys. Just look at that. That's Rishu uh, meeting His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Isn't that amazing? How blessed is that? Yep. So like I said, Rishu is a big shot and I'm not going to tell you exactly what he does because I can, but he is a big shot. So here it is. So how did you feel, Rishu, meeting His Holiness the Dalai Lama for the first time, I would guess? Yes, yes. It was my first time. Really? So how did uh, this even come up? It was just, uh, I was not thinking to meet him, okay. but I was asked by my senior to come. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. And within an hour, I got up and I was ready, and ready, ready to go. Uh, wow. It was wow. coincidence to meet him. Wow, wow. So it how? was a very beautiful and I felt very uh, uh, blessed, very peaceful after meeting him. Oh my gosh, see guys, did you hear that? So yeah, he wasn't even planning on meeting or there was no plans or anything. You know, one of his seniors asked him, do you want to come along? And then he, he did and that's how he got to meet his holiness, the Dalai Lama. So what a pleasant surprise. And, and Rishu is from Bihar. You know, Rishu is from Bihar and then also he went to a friend's wedding and then he was going back home and that's how we met on this train. What a pleasant surprise. It was such a pleasure meeting you, Rishu. It was such a pleasure meeting you. And the Rishu was very kind. Uh, he told us that, you know, we don't have to worry about getting all our luggages out because Rishu said some of his um, people are going to come here to help him out, you know, to receive him. So they're going to help us uh, get our stuff out because Apparently it's only going to stop for like three minutes, three, five minutes max, three. right? So we were kind of nervous and worried and Rishi said not to worry, so that's Rishi for you. It was very pleasant meeting you, you know, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, thank you very much. See guys, this is what we had to do. Uh, since it's only stopping here for like two, three minutes, we got all our, our luggage out here. And then as soon as the train stops, we'll just push everything out. So here we are guys, we are finally in Gaia, uh, a little delayed but we still made it, wasn't as bad as, wasn't as, bad as it could have been. My brother-in-law actually took the same train a few days ago and he was late by almost, he was late by almost 11 hours. Yeah, I see my, my brother-in-law right there. I see my brother-in-law right there. <laughs> Where's my brother-in-law? He's on the way with us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but what's here? I wish you was here. I wish you were here. <laughs> So helpful. Look at all these people. Bunch of helpful people. Bunch of helpful people. We have commandos helping us. 
जो वजीरवंश लैया बाबा से पूरा खून को जाएगी वन एक पर खड़ी है ग्यारह बजकर पच्चीस मिनट पर खुलेगी जीरो तैतीस नब्बे Thank you so much, Rishi. Appreciate it. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely see you again. Before I leave, I'll give you a call. We'll eat together. Seriously, I would love to. Take care now, okay? Take care so much. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. All right, guys, this is it. We are finally in Bodh Gaya. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this uh, small uh, sample of the Indian train journey. Uh, if you would please uh, like, share and subscribe, I would highly appreciate it. All right, and this is it. Uh, signing off from Bodh Gaya. Take care, guys.